If today's gospel sounds familiar, it's because we just heard it on Sunday, and we've also heard it earlier in Advent too. But at times we need to hear God's word. We need to hear it again and again so that it moves from just our thinking about it and being familiar with it to bringing us into action. Mary shows us that faith in God isn't solely a private relationship or even one that only takes place with our brothers and sisters at the rosary or the mass. Our Blessed Mother takes her faith in Jesus out of the comfort and security of her home to share it with her cousin Elizabeth, her unborn child John, and we can also assume Zechariah, Elizabeth's husband, was there too. Most likely, if you're celebrating this Mass with us, you're also a person of faith, a person like Mary, who God has called to a personal relationship, a friendship. And like many of our friendships, God wants it to be an active one, not just planning to do good or talking about doing good, but one that generates faith and hope in God that leads to charitable works in his name. I know so many of you do those. Today, like Father Willie talked about yesterday, in the world's northern hemisphere, we mark the winter solstice, the shortest amount of daylight for the year. When you combine that with low temperatures and the less sunlight, for some of us, it can make us feel uninspired. But still, today's readings begin with the prophet Zephaniah, who calls us to shout and to sing joyfully. Why do we do it? Because God removes judgment, because he protects, and because he renews us in his love for us. God speaks to us by saying, fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. When you think about it, sometimes our discouragement is what keeps us from acting on what God calls us to do. But God knows this, and so he reminds us that he is with us. Just like a caring family member or a friend can give us that boost of energy or confidence that we need, God's grace, even more so, is here for us right now through his word and through the Eucharist. Amidst the busyness of these last days of Advent season, we all need to be renewed. We need to be recharged, but sometimes we need to be calmed down. Just look at the drivers in store parking lots. <laughs> Me too. Or look at some of the people in lines waiting to check out. But how about this? Think about the last conversation you had with a family member or a friend or a coworker. My brothers and sisters, Mary overcame her concerns because she believed in God's promise to her and to each one of us. He promised to be with us. Mary's action of visiting Elizabeth while pregnant with Jesus resulted in great joy expressed by Elizabeth, which is spoken to this day around the world each time we pray the Hail Mary. So here's something for us to think about today. Who is it that God is calling us to bring the joy of Jesus to this day? Most likely, we won't need to travel far, perhaps just into the next room in our homes. May God bless you and your families this holy day as we find inspiration in Mary through doing God's will.